Welcome back. It's no secret that Sui Ishida, the creator of Tokyo Ghoul, has been serializing a new manga. And I know you, the filthy anime only types, have some opposition to Tokyo Ghoul, but hear me out and let me tell you why Chojin X is an absolute must read. Chojin X is another good guy, bad guy, superpower story, but this one's done a little bit differently. For example, chapter two begins. Girl wakes up unsure where she's at. She finds a man, asks the man for help. He's a nice guy. Now that guy's on fire. And I know this doesn't sound that special yet, but hear me out, it gets good. So girl runs. Girl steals transportation from some kid. This transportation is, you guessed it, a roller boy yay yay. Do I expect you to know what a roller boy yay yay is? No, they don't either. It essentially it's a razor scooter, but so now she's away, right? She's got a roller boy yay yay. She's on her way, but no. The fire guy who could literally just fly if he wanted. He decides no. Nah, I'm gonna steal a roller boy yay yay from another one of these town kids. And now the fire guy is on hot pursuit. If only the girl had the one mode of transportation that could guarantee she'd get away safely. Aw oh, heck, she found it. Somewhere in the middle of Tokyo, she somehow found a John Deere tractor. So now she's off to the races. Truly, she's gotta get away. She is the best damn tractor driving child in Tokyo, right? Surely there's no way she could be caught. That is, unless. Now I'm gonna let you guess what happens next for a second, if you can. Time's up. The fire guy finds and hires a biker gang of exclusively cryptid sheep-headed goons. He hires the goons and now has an epic chase of 20 plus sheep-headed cryptid biker gang goons versus one country bumpkin. But what's this? The man has also stolen a Porsche from somewhere or another. The setting somehow turns into Tokyo Drift with them drifting tractors and Porsches down a windy Japanese mountain pass, initial D style. And wouldn't you know it, somehow the smoky fire cunt with a Porsche catches up to the tractor and the girl is captured. Who'd have thought? It would seem the girl's truly in dire straits now, but what do you think happens next? You guessed it. The girl's dis perfect description of her dream man comes falling out of a helicopter and pummels the bad guy. I mean, just look at this man's chiseled jawline. And the girl's saved. But that's just one chapter. And on top of that, it's chapter two forcing you to willfully suspend your disbelief for the entirety of the rest of the series. All in all, it's a pretty epic chapter though. This speaks volumes for the overall pacing of the manga, as most interactions are generally concluded within one chapter. Even the first big boss battle is wrapped up in about two chapters, leaving us all the more time to get deeply emotionally connected with our main characters. Speaking of said characters, this manga takes no time to get you connected to each of them. I mean, hell, I was fully invested in the female protagonist in the first five pages of this manga, and I was actually genuinely sad when something horrible happens on the very next page of the manga. Male protagonist and his best friend get multiple short flashbacks to their childhood throughout this, the first volume. These flashbacks can convey the message and help build a character in literally pages. I mean, that's a feat that some One Piece flashbacks take entire volumes to accomplish. Not saying anything bad about One Piece, please don't hurt me One Piece fans, but just saying that I appreciate that the flashbacks in this story are short enough to where I can't forget what was actually happening in the story prior to them. Back to Chojin, our main character is a wuss, which is 
standard of manga and anime. However, he comes face to face with death and is forced to discover the full potential of his power. This, however, doesn't make our main character an unstoppable badass. It really just makes him strong enough to survive this encounter with the help of the female protagonist. He grows at a fairly natural pace, and I appreciate that. Last on my list is just a minute of your time to appreciate the incredible artwork driving this story. It's that iconic Ishida art style that goes from literally scribbles to a multimedia art piece and literally a page. I've always been a fan of Ishida's art style and it's refreshing to see it in a new story. That being said, this is a new story and there is still plenty of time for anything to go wrong. At this point, the only downside I see though is some people find Ishida's style to be a bit edgy or cringy, but I'd still highly suggest giving Chojin X a try as overall the story is fantastic. That being said, the latest chapter of this manga ends on a cliffhanger with a sort of Griffith and Guts style betrayal. I would definitely try to get caught up on this story before it gets too far ahead of you. So this video is a first for me in many ways as it is the first time I've ever tried writing a script. As you could probably tell with me chopping every five seconds to read my laptop and make sure that I'm reading everything correctly, you know? Speaking of, if you think there's any improvements I can make on the way that I structured this review, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to implement it next time. I am interested in doing more manga reviews in the future and hope to better my skill of writing scripts as I know this is definitely a bit rough around the edges as opposed to an actual writing professional. But anyways, thank you for watching. Feel free to check out any of my other videos and I guess be ready for the next one. Thank you very much.